I'm Tom Juneau, um, and uh, I wrote the story that is, I guess, the inspiration for uh, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Fred was really smart, and he was also kind of a Zen master, and he was also like a, one of the greatest practitioners of like editorial jujitsu ever. So like Fred never answered um, a single question that I asked him, basically. Um, but he asked me a lot of questions, and I had to decide somewhere along the line whether I wanted, whether I was going to go along with that, or I, whether I was going to resist that. And I decided to go along with it, and because I decided to go along with it, I'm standing right here. Allow yourself to respond to the story as a human being and not just as a journalist. I mean, when you, when you meet somebody, um, whether it's Fred Rogers or a celebrity or a person who's really had a hard time and is maybe telling their story for the first time after 10, 15 years of keeping it in, um, you're going to have a not just a journalistic reaction to that, you're going to have a human reaction to that. And so allow that to happen. Allow that to filter its way into the story. Allow that to kind of guide your hand. And, and I think that that's um, what I've always you know, tried to do and what Fred, I think, helped me to do. Number one, I mean, it's, it's wild, you know. I mean, I, mean, I, I wrote the story 21 years ago and, and here I'm standing. So, that's, so that's, that's a bit of surrealism that is part of it. But at the same time, I mean, I'm here talking um, about the, the message of a, of a, I think, a, a great American man and an unusual American man and a one-of-a-kind American man. And I'm, you know, been, have the opportunity to talk about all these sort of deep matters of the heart. And, I mean, that's an amazing opportunity and something that I couldn't imagine that I would have had, and here I am. So I'm pretty happy about that. Please won't you be my neighbor?